Steve, we are here today at Bushwick Inlet Park. Thank you so much for agreeing to talk to us today. It's an absolute pleasure. Now, you've been involved with the Ukrainians for 60 years as a player, as a coach, as a manager. Tell me, how did you first get involved with them? Well, I, the first thing, I, I had a friend in high school. He brought me to, uh, to play for the junior team in 1962, I think it was. In those early years as a junior player, what was it like playing soccer in New York City? How was it different to, to now in 2023? Oh, a big difference. <laughs> it was not like uh, right now with this AstroTurf, uh, was all rocks and uh, dirt. You know, very few uh, grass fields that you could not see it in the park. And obviously as a junior player, you saw the Ukrainian men's team win the Open Cup in 1965. How proud did that make you feel as a member of the community, as a Ukrainian? Oh, very proud. I was waiting for them to come from Chicago at the club. We used to have a club in uh, A Street in Manhattan uh, at that time, and I was waiting for them to come from, uh, from Chicago. And as you mentioned, you played at a lot of different clubs as a player in the 60s and the 70s. How was the experience of just being an adult soccer player back then. A lot of players were coming from abroad at that time, weren't they? Oh yeah, they had a lot of players, uh, professional players that came. What was the quality of play like? Because you had some very high quality players coming over from Europe to play in the German-American Soccer League, didn't you? Yes, they had uh, all different, uh, you know, from different nationalities. They used to have uh, clubs that uh, from different nationality and they brought their own players over here and they play. Like our club, used to bring players from Canada, English players, or Scottish. And they would come, they paid them, and they go back. That time, that was the professional league, the German-American league. You've been with the Ukrainians for an incredible 60 years, right? Right. What's been the best part of being involved with the Ukrainians for 60 years? What's maybe been the hardest part about being involved with the Ukrainians for 60 years? Well, I had uh, good times and bad times. We won the League Cup one time, I think 1964. And uh, there were some times that the, the team was bad. I, uh, I was running by myself. I was very tough, you know, looking for players. You know, oh, it was not easy. You know, I went through a lot of hell. What about with the field? Did you ever have to do anything crazy to get a field ready? Oh. Uh, I McCarran Park, to tell you the truth, I, uh, there were some times that I had to go to get uh, Polonia, I used to give me the, uh, the, the goalpost, and I had to bring the goalpost with the players, put the goalpost on the field, and then mark the field or the line. You have to line and they had to have put flags on the field because that, otherwise we get a fine. It, it was crazy. People don't know that what went through. Having you know now been involved with the Ukraine with the Ukrainians for so many years, been so important to it. Looking back, what can you say the club means to you? Well, I still you know I don't I don't know. It's like in my heart, the the club. You know, I I continue doing what I have to do, and I hope somebody else will take over one day. You know, because I'm getting old, <laughs> and I can I'm not going to be here <laughs> that long. You know, so. And I hope it'll work out. We have some problems over the club, but uh, I hope we, we get, get straight out. As you know, Coastal Partisan Soccer League has been it's, it's turning 100 years old. Why do you think that league has survived for so long for th and has thrived for so long? Well, I think that they have the, the right people in the, in the board and and every time they keep changing and new people coming in and they're doing their job and, they, and that's how the league is keep going. And plus, uh, we have the first team, the reserve team, that's, that makes a big difference too. And, uh, and they keep going. I see the other teams, uh, the other league is falling apart. We do have the terrible conflict happening in Ukraine at the moment. I know the Ukraine is now actually has players from all over the world, but you do still have some Ukrainians on the team. I think it's four or five. What sort of difference does having the Ukrainian community in New York make to them as, as this terrible, terrible war is going on from the Russian invasion in Europe? Well, they, uh, well, I don't have families over there, 
anymore because my, my parents always came back here, you know, but uh, on their part, they feel bad, you know. They worry about their families. They, some of them live there. And I know I talk to them because I speak Ukrainian anyway, so <laughs> I didn't forget the language. You didn't forget the language. And, you know, does it, does it make a difference to them to have the, the community around them here? Obviously, it doesn't fix the problem, but does it, does it just help them kind of get through day to day? Oh, yeah, they, they worry and uh, sometimes they just want to keep playing soccer so they forget about it, yeah. what's going on, yeah. What does soccer mean to you and what has it meant to you throughout your whole life? I don't know. I, I came from Brazil where soccer was always there. I used to play barefoot over there. There was no, uh, you know, I don't have no shoes. I, I, I live poor. And, and when I came here, it, it, it made a difference, you know. And I, uh, when I got married, I told my wife, my wife is Brazilian, and I told her, soccer is in my blood. I don't drink that much, I don't smoke, but soccer <laughs> is always there. So she understands that. And one time she used to help out me, and then one day she said, that's it. I do my thing, you do your thing. She, she had enough of the soccer. <laughs> enough. But you yeah. never had enough of it. Yeah, I, I'm still around. That's what I do all the time. <laughs>